Salo for love and good evening everyone. Our Samo today program for this evening. The South Pacific uh, Business Development Organization was established in the year 2000 here in Samoa and already it has assisted many women in the country. And tonight, um, I'm happy to announce that as my guest here in the studio, I have the president of the South Pacific Business Development, uh, Mr. Gregory Casagrande, and also the acting manager for the SBBD office here in Samoa, Luapene Lefau. I would like to say talo falava and a very pleasant good evening to you too. Talo falava. It's a great pleasure to be here. Talo falava. Mr. President, what's the latest development of uh, the South Pacific business uh, development here in Samoa? SPBD is uh, continuing to thrive and continuing to do quite well. Just as a, a reminder to your viewers, uh, SPBD works with women throughout Samoa and we provide um, small business training, unsecured credit, and ongoing guidance and motivation to help women start small income generating uh, projects and businesses so that they can lift up their family's uh, well-being. Uh, in addition to that, we provide unsecured credit for basic housing improvements and for childhood education. Mm -hmm and we have a savings program. Uh, so we have now reached uh, a few more milestones. Uh, we have now uh, dispersed over 26 million TALA in uh, unsecured credit since we began. Uh, we have worked with over 11,000 families throughout mm -hmm. Samoa. Uh, we have, uh, our members have accumulated over 600,000 TALA of uh, savings in just the past two years. Mm -hmm. uh, and and the, these businesses are all thriving, so they're, they're all doing quite well. We're now working uh, in just about every village in Upolu. Uh, we've got probably 65% of Savai'i covered, and we're also mm. working in Monono. Mm. Uh, Mr. Casagrande, not only you have launched an office here in Samoa, but you have also moved beyond Samoa. And uh, could you share with our viewers about the new office in Tonga? Yes, so we are just uh, beginning uh, a SPBD network, and it's mm. the beginning of a, of a larger strategy. Uh, but just last week, we legally uh, we launched the legal entity SPBD Microfinance Limited Tonga, uh, and so it's just it's the very early days of that uh, of that organization. Uh, we have a couple staff there. We're bringing one of our uh, Tongan staff over to uh, mm -hmm. help get it kicked off, uh, and I think it'll be uh, it'll be a great success. But once again, it's very early days. We're just putting the infrastructure mm -hmm. in place right now. We expect to disperse our first loan sometime in uh, the month of September. Okay, so SBBD is now a regional uh, organization since you have launched office in Tonga. How are you able to compare the service carried out by SBBD to other islands of the Pacific, especially Tonga and Samoa, with other uh, microfinance uh, organizations around the Pacific? Well, SBBD in Samoa is certainly still the preeminent uh, microfinance organization in mm. the Pacific Islands region. Uh, I just came from a microfinance Pacifica conference that was held in Fiji. It's a biannual conference. Uh, two years ago, there was one held in Papua New Guinea. Um, and so at this conference, there were about 160 practitioners and funders and advisors and aid organizations that are interested in the microfinance sector in uh, the broader Pacific. And it's a good, it's in the Pacific, you know, we're all spread out so far mm -hmm. apart that the conference was a great venue to bring people in yeah. from different countries mm -hmm. so that we can share best practices so that some aid organizations who've got ideas of new uh, products and services that can be provided can present those proposals mm -hmm. um, so that regulatory authorities can talk to one another and figure out how to create a very uh, conducive environment so that microfinance organizations can thrive. Um, that said, I gave a couple talks at the conference mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of interest uh, in trying to help SPBD replicate itself throughout the, uh, the, the broader region. And that is something that we uh, intend fully to do. Okay. Well, you've been here since 2000, and uh, you've helped over 11,000 families. And so what are the future plans of SPBD here in Samoa and also around the region? Will be, there be further new offices around the Pacific? So there will certainly be further offices around the Pacific. Within Samoa specifically, we will continue to grow. We will serve all the unbanked in mm -hmm. Samoa. So there are more people to help. Um, we will continue to help with uh, growing micro-businesses, with ex improving housing conditions and ensuring that children get a proper education. Uh, but we'll also be introducing other lines of business. One area that we are working on right now is further improving our business development services. That is the training of our women mm -hmm. entrepreneurs to help them become even better and more successful, successful um, entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. 
And um, like I know uh, being here in Samoa, it's not easy to do it alone. Are there any people or any organizations that also assist the organization here in Samoa? Certainly there are many organizations and many mm -hmm. people who have made us the success that we are today. The two that I really want to mention are my staff. Well, mm -hmm. I've got 22 extraordinary staff who have worked their hind ends off and every day for mm -hmm. the last 10 years to make the organization a success that it is. Lua Penny Lefau, my uh, acting general manager here, has been with us since 2001 mm -hmm. and has been one of those people who has made us the great success that we are today. And secondly, and perhaps most importantly, are the ladies with whom we work. Mm -hmm. uh, there are over 11,000 women out there who have worked incredibly hard to make their businesses a success. If those businesses are not a success, sense. then we can't mm -hmm. be a success either. So it's sort of a, it's a mutual thing. They work very hard. They should be incredibly proud of the successes that they have made for themselves and for their families. And I, I, I stand in awe of them and the, the work that they have accomplished. Okay. Well, Mr. Casagrande, we thank you very much for coming along tonight. And uh, we thank you for choosing Samoa to be the first SVBD office to be launched here. And uh, we hope the, for the very best for SVBD here in Samoa and also around the Pacific. Thank you very much. Have a time. Thank you very much. And there you have it, Samoa, the president of the South Pacific Business Development Organization, Gregory Casagrande. And you can ring the office on uh, 20189 for more information. But that's our Samoa Today program for tonight. Thank you for joining us. God bless and so forth.